Metal Jesus Rocks. I'm back again with my good friend, Drunken Master Paul. Cheers. Cheers. Now, for those that don't know, I used to work at Sierra Online with, with Mr. Paul here. Yes, indeed, you did. Yeah, it was it was good times. And, uh, Very good times. You know, actually, for a while now, I've been threatening him to bring him on my, my channel more. Because, you know, we hang out every week anyways. You're also the lead singer of our band. That's right. Test and, Turbo. Test Turbo rules. That's right. And, you know... We're, we're huge gamers even to this day. We, we play games, we're into games, and uh, you occasionally watch my channel. Occasionally. Occasionally. If you well, fall into it. Yeah, yeah, if it's, I have nothing better to do. If it's on, the, it's if it's like at the mall on the TV at Best Buy, you'll yeah. stop and you'll be like, I'll oh, check I know, it out. I know, you know that If douche. I've already like cleaned my toes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all those things on, then maybe I'll throw your channel on. So I thought it might be kind of cool. <laughs> maybe not. We're idiots. Yeah. To, uh, to have Paul over and review a game that he has not played yet, which is called Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. And you haven't played this. I had never even heard of this game. You know, I mean, of course, all kids love the, the whole Charlie Brown series, yeah. you know, the Peanut series, and of course, Snoopy is everybody's favorite. If it's not, you're wrong. But I hadn't heard about an actual flight game, and I love a good flight game. I'm not really into the simulators, where they're like yeah. super technical. Yeah. I like where I have fun flying and shooting stuff down, and then, with Snoopy, childhood buddy oh, yeah. here. Oh yeah, that's gonna kick ass. Yeah, so let's check it out. First of all, what, what beer are we drinking? I'm bringing a. Uh... Today's show is brought to you by Widmer Brothers Hefeweizen, a delicious, refreshing beer made in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> so that's pretty good, actually. Thank you. And Obsidian Stout from Bend, Oregon. I used to live in Bend, Oregon years ago, third grade. That explains why you play with semen every weekend. <laughs> Oregon. Gah! Bend. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> why? You need room to float by? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. The other one though, sorry, I just burped and it's pretty gnarly. Um, <laughs> that's for you, buddy. You put the ass in class. <laughs> yeah. Blue on the right hand side is how much of your special ability you have, whether it's your turning, see gotcha. how it, it sucks up a little bit of juice. Yep. And then the one on the, the left hand side is your health. Okay. And then, oh, I see what I picked up. I picked up a special weapon. So I picked up the, the water balloons. Okay. So you can fly into them and get special weapons, which are your square button. Tie. What? How did I? We're tied up. You know, like last weekend. Shh. Sorry. People are watching. Nobody's watching. Nobody watches this. I you know that, right? No, I, I, it's totally true. Ha ha. Nice. How do you do loops and shit? Doing flips and shit? Oh, these two buttons here. Okay. But but sometimes these are the, are the more useful ones. The uh, the triangle and the circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you see root beer floating, that's health. Is it? Yep. All right. Thanks for letting me know now. Yeah, no problem. Winner! <coughs> Dude, seriously! <laughs> Charlie Brown! <coughs> Never played it in my life. Is that mine? It is. Quite it. You always do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just the first beer wherever, I, right? I shoot you down and steal your beer. Spoil the Biatch! Biatch! Why I even invite you over here, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> We've made no secret of it. I'm way better at games than you. I know. It's you so, know more about games than I do. It, it's, I'm better than you are. I should, I, I'm book smart. That's the problem. It's true. I'm, I'm book smart. It's it, it, gets you, it gets you... <laughs> <laughs> know all about them. Can't do a thing. Uh, no, um, drunken uh, master. <laughs> you don't have to be smart to be drunken master. That's true. You just gotta be drunk. Well, one really cool thing about playing this is... Mm. You know, I'm, I was always a huge fan of the uh, Charlie Brown cartoons, and we're getting close to Halloween, and that was the first one I saw with the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, oh, yeah. where you'd see the whole Snoopy uh, storyline, and you had the whole thing where he was crawling behind enemy, enemy lines, and oh yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. you know the uh, like the World War One flying ace shot down by the Red Baron. It's the first one you ever saw where he was in the. Um, on the doghouse, a big grin, getting shot down. That was the first time I remember seeing that. I, so, I watched for that every year. Didn't give a crap about the rest of the cartoon. Now, didn't they? And it's all in his imagination, right? Oh, yeah. like, like it goes to uh, kind of a stylized version of it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so awesome. 
Yeah, the World War One flying ace is gunned down behind <laughs> enemy lines. Look, there's a farmhouse. Perhaps the Mademoiselle will be able to help me crawling through. Yeah, that's and then, right. of course, at the end, and sorry if this is a spoiler for those mm. of you, those three people that have not seen The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, but you know, suck it. It's time. It's yeah. time. When Linus is waiting for the great pumpkin, and instead Snoopy rises out of the pumpkin patch at the end because he'd been crawling behind enemy lines. Oh! Whoa, <laughs> that is a great pumpkin! <laughs> Over he goes. This is the shit I have going on in my mind when I'm trying to remember if I need mustard at the grocery store. I do I need mustard? You have no more room in there. That's the thing. That's it. I'm, yeah. I'm running out. Yeah. The you, buffer is full. Yeah. I need to upgrade need, my RAM. Need to format that bitch. You know, for a PlayStation 2 game, it's not that bad. No, actually, it's, I I love flight sim games, especially ones that don't take themselves too seriously. Yep. I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I loved Crimson Skies, was it was easy to fly. It wasn't too much of a simulator. Right. And this is kind of the same. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it is. It's surprisingly a good game, and I don't think it did very well. Like, I'd never heard of it, and I saw a copy of it, and I was like, hell yeah. It also, it, I think it does the license justice. Like, I like how it has the little, you know, the voices and the characters uh -huh. talking in the beginning. Um, you got the little bird on the wing. What's the name? Woodstock! The, Woodstock. I, I, <laughs> I, see, I don't have room for that stuff. <laughs> Casey, you have a, you have a channel. You're a famous uh, YouTube dude. Famous in my own mind. It's true. I'm crowded and shut in in my own mind. Is, so, it, is it scary in there? Is it dark? Sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Snoopy vs. the Red Baron on the PlayStation 2. It was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. I uh, I still draw the comparison to Crimson Skies. Mm -hmm. But Crimson Skies, you know, bigger storyline, not quite as kid-like. But <clears throat> I would play that. I want to borrow this from you because I want to play this thing. It was a lot of fun. Um, the controls aren't really crazy. Um, they're decent, fun missions. They're challenging enough. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's, it's Snoopy. So I, I really, really liked it. And What's not to love, man? It's not to love. All right. Well, I want to thank you for watching my channel. Thanks for coming on this episode, man. DMP. I think you're gonna, Master Paul. I think he's going to be on a bunch of these. Yeah. That's because I know where the bodies are buried and you owe me. I do. Yeah.